If we look at China, this is their third month that they've reported and they're always just releasing, you know, small quantities. Uh, you know, like they just said this week, they bought another 15 tons. Um, but so what do you think is the strategy behind China announcing these small amounts? And by the way, there are two thirds of the gold bought by central banks last year. We don't know where it's coming from. So there's still this mystery two thirds. We have China releasing small quantities over the months. Can you kind of link the two or any thoughts here? Well, I think it's really hiding in plain sight. Do what I say and not what I do. And what they're doing is accumulating. I mean, nobody really knows how much gold China has stockpiled because that information of what they mine themselves is just not really released. So, but whoever holds the gold retains the power and the choice. And in this massive global shift in financial dominance, you know, I think what we're really witnessing is that China wants to come out on top. And since the U.S. doesn't seem to add any gold, right? right? Gold prices kicked 2023 off to a strong start. With China's economic activities recovering some vitality during January, a local gold demand rebound may lie ahead. As mentioned in our gold demand trends, the Chinese government's prioritization of consumption stimuli and consumers' record-level tendency to save could bode well for local gold consumption. U.S. General turned down the market's fears of Chinese spying on the U.S. and the likely rush towards the safe havens. Meanwhile, seasonality may also push gold demand higher in Q1. The relative underperformance of the RMB gold price compared to its U.S. dollar peer was mainly due to local currency strength. According to the China Gold Association, during the 15-day period from the CNY Day to the Spring Lantern Festival, Chinese gold consumption was up by 18%. The PBOC announced another gold reserve rise in January, the third consecutive month. By the end of January, China's gold reserves reached 2,025 to a 15 rise from its end 2022 level. Currently, gold accounts for 3.7% of China's total official reserves. You know, I'm boggled by that as well, right? And I'm thinking, yeah, why wouldn't China want to show, hey, we're powerful here with our gold reserves. Maybe they have more than the U.S. Who knows? Why not come out and say, hey, we own a ton of gold here, much more than we're Timing. disclosing to show why? What are they waiting for? Well, they're waiting for the opportune moment because really the conflict between the U.S. and China has been escalating and we, you know, it's escalating right now. So I think the Chinese are extraordinarily strategic and I don't think they like to show their hand until they are ready to actually take that position. And, and I don't think we're there yet. We need a huge crisis in order to justify a lot of the shift. But um, yeah, I think it's all strategic, to be honest with you. Yeah. And, 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 you know, where is that gold coming from? I mean, we're seeing massive drawdowns on the COMEX and the LBMA. We've been watching that. So maybe that's where it's coming from. Chinese gold ETF holdings lost fourth last month, arriving at 48 by the end of January. Following a record annual loss in 2022 and a weak start to 2023, total holdings of Chinese gold ETFs fell to their lowest since February 2020. Two key factors precipitated January's outflow. First, the 2% local gold price rise may incentivize profit-taking activities by Chinese gold ETF investors. Second, with the CSI 300 stock index booking a sizable gain of 7% and the RMB strengthening, reduced safe haven demand might also have contributed. Also exerting downside pressure on the XAU or USD could be the fears surrounding the U.S.-China ties as well as anxiety ahead of the U.S. Consumer Price Index. What are your thoughts about China gold reserve mystery? Does China hold more gold stock than U.S.? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like our content, give this video a big thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel.